face it. There is nothing. Your battery is running low. Yes, I already know that. There is nothing in this world. But some creative little natural little berserk things that look kind of cool. So, whatever. Um, no one should be tortured. And the people who should be tortured are never tortured. Was Hitler ever tortured? Not like he tortured his victim. Or Stalin. What are, you know, all these May I say tongue? Okay. So, Earth is hell because of insane abusers. And it's just insane, you know, like for you to torture another human being. You hate yourself that much. Well, people who hate themselves are in denial. Whatever. You I, you can't communicate with someone in denial whatsoever at all. You, you don't know what the hell they're going to do next. If they're starving, if they ain't eat for a week, and they're around your food that you made, you know, if they're going to be honest and not hog down a whole big, huge plate, like, behind your back, like, ask you, like, not hog down like half of what was made like you know all the insane white trash no manners white trash insane abusers I, did, I was forced to deal with you know like it's just nuts my late dad and pretend I'm a narcissist Living, pretend I'm a narcissist. Really, really horrifying, stingy with candy. Christmas, Halloween time, they will not give you a morsel of it. I mean, just like spoiled little brat. To hide it. Just nuts. Just totally nuts. And I, okay, I just, I just, I don't, um, I don't care at all about this world because of insane abusers like pretend I'm nurses. And I'm just sick of using his name. Yeah. I should, um, be the right. Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa never did that much. Um, if I would have a billion dollars, like Bill Gates, what's the other ones, Elon Musk, Jeff Benzis, who cares? They'd never give me a penny, but if I had their money, like if I was a billionaire, I could do some real serious, very, very awesome things for people like me who need a place to stay like I could you know organize that and make that happen for me and other people who are not drug addicts and even if they are so what just wean them off of them in a drug rehab or in a facility that does so I don't understand why the right thing is not done. Like, you know, I mean, to sufficiently, you know, supply for people, everyone can have their own garden and crap. I, not anymore with all the poisons in the air and shit, but um, I'm talking about 20 years ago. Having your own garden in your own room. With your own dirt. Just buckets of dirt. Just jab holes underneath. So maybe water can go through. So it's not stagnant. So it's fresh. So 
Um, I never ever had a place to do that. And I found out the hard way, the very, very hard way, the world does not care. That's why God has nothing to do with the world. If you're friends with the world, you're enemies with God. Why? Because Satan's a friend of the world, you know. Nice to you one day, next day they'll rob you. That's awful. Like, um, it's just totally awful, that. So I ask um, Jesus' blood to protect me in every way possible and to help me, um, To the correct, most, um, best things for me to do and for, to help myself as well as other, um, unfortunate ones that I could do my best, but, uh, um, I hope to be able to help out the um, the less fortunate. Um, approximately a thousand people would be really nice, and not, of course, not all my stuff. Like, like maybe I would find out some. <coughs> I used to be a mother who needed a place for six months. That's what I would do. Give a new mother. Six pay for a rent for six months. Who else is going to do it? That's what I would do. And if you can do it again for the young mother, go ahead and do that for five years. And she should have that for five years. Why wouldn't that be a mother who has like two, three little children? Three little children. And she can't, they can't give her a small little room. Take care of her children with enough food, enough paper, enough um, visits from nurses so the mom doesn't go out of her mind not having a, a conversation and wants a conversation so she wants a nurse there every half hour every day, maybe half hour in the morning, half hour at night. Just talk. Nothing else. Don't clean up. Don't make me a meal. Let's how some nurses do it. And they have, uh, they take your vital signs. They make sure you're okay. You're, you know, again, make you a meal. Clean up after the meal. And, um, I never would have wanted that. I, uh, always took care of myself. I don't want even if I want to do it myself, I want my own kitchen, do my own stuff. But uh, um, discuss it with my life. I guess this is all right. Uh, I made my. This is the only thing that works. Man, I mean, it's a better picture. Yeah, look, I'm you know ugly old. It's because. I never ever had um, barely any support, but Jesus' blood is the best support that anyone could ask for because it conquers the wickedness in heavenly realms. There's power, power, wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We wrestle against the principalities of the darkness principalities of this world of darkness. <coughs> Which is too unspeakable. That the armor of God, Jesus' blood, conquers the wickedness in heavenly realms. Because there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood, in the blood of Jesus. Power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of Jesus. There is just too much wrong. It's not sometimes things go good and bad. It's like all the time. 
majority of things are wrong and bad. So, yeah, you look around you on the on the planet and like there's nothing here, and it's really sad. I really never wanted it to ever be that way. I wanted a half normal life. I wanted to spend half the day at the park, you know, like just kind of hanging out, like I don't know, um, out in the grass. But, but, like, I'm too old, like, to get up and down and now. And, you know, I just wanted a normal life, like, ten years ago. Like, I would have been able to get up and off the ground a lot easier. And whatever, man. I hated my life, and I barely had anything to do with it. And that's the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. God chose me. persecuted to death but you know maybe I'm mad at my god because I'm a lady you should never have been born being tortured to death with assholes like pretend a lot narcissist he swears up and down that I had the best life in the world and I nothing ever bad happened to me and I had such wonderful times Especially with him. Barely ever spent like any time together. So fucking out of his fucking mind. And like the four months that we stayed together. Like he can't make a Christmas or a Thanksgiving meal. Really? He really he really sucks. That you know he's that bad off. That. Um, never ever. Uh, treated me with any kind of decency. Uh, I'm sick of it. Okay. Dearest Lord, Heavenly Father, please. Dearest Lord, Heavenly Almighty Father, please take away all this negativity that was created in my life and replace it with your peace that passes all understanding by the precious, sacred, pure blood of Jesus. Who conquers the wickedness in heavenly realms? Because there's power, power, wonder working power in the blood of Jesus. There's power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of Jesus. There's power, power, wonder working power. Fighting all, all the bitching demons. All of the bitching demons that I said in the video. I ask the Lord Jesus to take away and replace it with. His peace surpasses all understanding by the precious, powerful, sacred, pure blood of Jesus. Power, power, wonder working power. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in Jesus' blood always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in Jesus' blood always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say and again I say. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. I liked the 50s, um, like on that little dumb movie, uh, Grease movie. It was like average. I don't like anything in the real world. You know that. Okay, so it's just off take and acting, but it's okay. It's average. Um, I liked the ups and downs of the voices in their songs made their their songs just great. The, the, the deep voices of the guys. The T-Birds. The whatever. John Travolta sang in. Then he was on Saturday Night Fever. Man, Saturday Night Fever, um... Uh, the Beatles, uh, their album was way better, and I didn't realize, you know, they were talking about, um, homeless people when they sang that song, Staying Alive, so that's really, really fucked up. With, it goes along with this backwards world, like, you don't even know what the hell's going on. Okay, like a great example of the Holocaust. No one knew. No one knew. And I got that after watching 
a few videos. No one knew. Of course, I don't watch the whole video. I only watch seconds, minutes, like, okay, and that's what I got. No one knew. No one knows how awful it really is. How um, vicious. The kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence taken by force. You're just, you know, I, unreal, man. Damn, sorry. Only 16 minutes. Alright, I'm gonna have to definitely get used to this. Um, yeah. Abusers should not have that much control ever in a victim's life. It's completely, totally wrong.